Hey, it's Chuck here back with Milton Daily Homes, and we've got a list of three properties today, and I'm really excited about the first one. It's at 438 Oak Street, and it's at 328.7, and you know, this one here is a very interesting animal. It's been listed before in the in the sort of mid-300s, hasn't sold. It's now at 328.7, and it's a four-bedroom. Uh, it looks like, an, like it's, it's got an upper and a lower unit. It looks like the basement's just a crawl space. But anyways, it's on a 72 by 62 foot lot. They've got driveways on both sides of the property. And it's very, very interesting to me, this one. Um, you know, when you look at it, there's not many great investment properties in Milton. And the reason why is because many of them aren't set up for two streams of income or more, uh, which I believe is really the only way you can do an investment property. You know, if you buy a townhouse and you rent the whole thing, you might get thirteen, thirteen fifty for it, and that's it. But what if you could buy a home with a basement apartment? Even if you rented the upstairs for twelve hundred dollars, but maybe you could get you know five, five fifty out of the basement. All of a sudden, you're in a way better position. So I think that there's something to be said for a home where you've got at least two people living in it. Um, the numbers are obviously a lot better in most cases. Now, what I like about this one, the upper and lower units are both currently leased, so if the tenants want to stay, that'd be something I'd check. I'd be looking at how much they pay, because that from there we can start to look at the expenses, the mortgage that you're going to have, the taxes, all the rest of it, to see if there's profit there, and we can see how much profit, uh, taking into consideration things like upkeep, uh, taking into consideration vacancy. If they leave, we need to get someone else in there, and there's a cost associated with that. Uh, each unit is metered, which is really, really good. Um, and the nice thing about it is it looks like they've done some work. I don't know really how much value that has. I have to go see it. But electric baseboard heat is normally not something that I recommend for your own personal house because it can get more expensive compared to gas. Now, in an investment home, what's nice about electric baseboard heat is that the tenant's paying the hydro, so it's up to them to monitor it. And if they break down, it's a lot cheaper to replace baseboards uh, compared to like a furnace. So they actually are, are much cheaper to purchase and maintain. Uh, which is good as a landlord. Okay, so you really have to think about things. You know, you may go into this place and it may not be very nice inside, but you're not going to live there. Okay, so that's what I always struggle. The biggest struggle I see with investors is, especially first timers, they think it's for them. And they really have to separate themselves and, and, and think about it at a distance and say, I'm not going to be living here. What are my numbers? What are the raw facts around this? Um, so to separate emotion as an investor is a very important thing. So anyways, McGuire Terrace is the next one. I profiled this one yesterday. But what I want to show is that I believe the agent made a glaring error uh, in the sense of, of an omission from something that they... Uh, in the description. Now, it's good that it's in the picture, so it's probably going to get caught as something, but um, when we saw it yesterday, it wasn't there, and I thought I'd bring it up because it's very important. So, um, inside the home, you've got a very nice kitchen. You've got nice upgraded cabinets. Uh, no hardwood floors throughout the main, but it looks like a good layout here. Um, they've used one of the bedrooms upstairs, actually two of them for sitting areas, so there's probably not that many people living there. That's the shot right there. So very, very, very rare to have a walkout basement in Milton. And combining that with a pie-shaped lot, 379 to me really is enticing. You know, this is a good piece of land. They've got a hot tub in there. Finishing a basement with a walkout is absolutely exceptional. So that's what I wanted to show you. They did not write anything in the description about the walkout basement. They did the pie-shaped lot, but I think the walkout has just as much value. So very, very nice. Definitely check that one out. And the last one is on Freelton, and it's at 449. So it's four bedroom, three washroom, and it's over 2,000 square feet. And I look at this. It's on an 85 by 142 foot lot. It's way over by Highway 6. That's where Freelton is. And uh, I think that what's going to push this one over, if it does, is not going to be the land. So usually in the country, in the rural areas, it's the land. But this one here, it's probably going to be the size of the home. It looks nice inside. That's a very sort of century home thing. I don't know if that's actually... It looks like it could be part of the ceiling, which you did see back then. And, you know, basically inside, you've got some hardwood floors. The kitchen looks okay. They could have probably decluttered a little bit better. 
I like the uh, the neon sign over there, and um, you know that's the thing here too. The, there's a pool in the backyard. It's sort of a pseudo in ground above ground. It's sort of a mix there. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think that this one here would uh, it would it's been for sale for a while and it would really be one to see in person to really establish the value for it. So anyhow, that's our list for today. Bit of a short list, but that's how it goes sometimes, especially in December. And I'll see you back tomorrow with another episode of Milton Daily Homes. Bye for now.